Hello everybody and welcome back to FTB Skies Let's Play. In the last episode, it was got a bit hectic right there at the end. Uh, I ran out of power and didn't really have a way to get it back. Uh, luckily, we seem to be doing okay for the time being. I am going to have to keep an eye and probably... Uh, throw some more coal in there every so often, so that kind of means I should probably We'll toss some gravel in here to hopefully start generating a bit more coal Potentially um, So I could probably if I wanted to Since I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do this part for right now. I'm gonna take my crafter and my interface And I can probably set my interface up here. Get some cable. And run it this way. So that interface is there. And then I can do an export upgrade for coal. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. Uh, and then I can set you to only work with out a redstone signal. Do I have enough to make maybe a comparator? So just a basic vanilla comparator. And then I've got some redstone on me. So what I can do is take this, because you should... do that. Can I rotate you? I can. Okay, so I figured you would output while you were running, but that might be wrong. Is there an augment that might allow you to do that? Redstone augment? Maybe? Maybe? I assumed you would just automatically output while you were going. So let me All right, so you've got one in you and you should outport once I let you. So ignore redstone signal. Can you accept blocks? That's the big question. Doesn't seem like you can. Hmm. All right, so that may also be out of the question for now. We still just need to we, we just need to keep an eye on this and let this do its thing but then also uh, just make sure that I've got a constant supply of coal coming yeah we're okay right now so if any at any point any of my stuff dies I can just Some furnace can go back here. Probably just need to break this to be able to say input you and switch you back to input mode. Just replace my gravel, I mean, my cobblestone there. And everyone should be sort of happy now. You're, you're you're happy but you're not fantastic all right now you are so as long as I can keep you maintaining power we're, we're kind of okay all right so 
that crisis averted. I did look up ways to make uh, RF with Create. So that's probably what we're about to get into. So I need Lumium. So let me, can I, can I get another, well, I've got this crafter on me. So I'm just gonna, instead of doing it over there, I'm gonna put this crafter here. So let me go ahead and for patterns, let me do Lumium. Um, so Lumium Blend would probably be the better option. So Lumium Blend into Lumium Ingots, which is gonna need a furnace, but for now I'll just do it manually. So Lumium Ingots. So I need tin dust and silver dust. So the way to do that would be to take some tin and some silver and just throw them in. Can I do it in the macerator? I don't think I can. No, I can do it in the pulverizer. I would prefer to not to, but Desperate times. All right, so I'm gonna turn you off. Actually, what are you? You're osmium, so I need tin. So can I just have some raw tin here? You're not supposed to be going in here. I need to filter this so that this stuff isn't going in here. Alright, so for right now, I'm just going to do raw tin, raw silver. I'm going to drop you in there, and you can, turn, you can turn on for now. I'm just going to get like 16 of them like I was going to do down here. I could do it with the ingots, but then that requires the uh, fire charge so I'm not going to worry about that I'll do 10 of these and then I'll swap and then I'll do 10 of these and we'll be right back alright so if I take all of this and I can make lumium and I also need brass because I'm going to need to make these guys so brass ingot comes from mixing zinc and copper so I can take a stack of let's do a stack of zinc and a stack of copper ingots I'm probably also gonna need my blaze cake at least one so then I can come around here and I can say you and you fire it up and I know I keep doing this but there's a lot that needs to be done and I don't want to leave you out of anything and then just say oh well this is everything that I did but I will see you once all of this is made up. So I found a bit of a quicker way to get my stuff uh, into my system uh, instead of sending it down this because I'm not really using that flame for anything and all it's doing is slowing down uh, and it's reaching a like hold with the uh, pillars here. Because like I said, pill pillars and pedestals are good, but they're slow, they're super slow and they're not a permanent solution. So my permanent solution is um, I may have to take this off but my permanent solution right now is uh, just immediately export anything that's in here just straight into the system I don't know why I didn't do that sooner I wasn't really thinking I get my head wrapped around an idea and then I stick to it um, 
but yeah so we're we're slowly trying to move away from pedestals so let me get rid of you because you seem to be holding something up you're holding something up you are annoying all right so so far some things are coming up here that aren't supposed to but then hopefully everything continues to go into here you're messed up for some reason because your silicon got stuck in you and all of this seems to be holding well it's a big question mark on whether or not it's going to stay going well but so far it is going well enough uh, let me take these guys out because they don't need to be here that doesn't need to be here those don't need to be here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just do like a stack of this if I can we'll see if my upgrades will work on well I don't think I have any upgrades on that but we'll see if my power source goes well uh, I have been needing a good food source because I am running very low on food I think I did that wrong. I think I needed to have, yeah, left click or right click. That is the question. All right, so I really don't even know where we are right now. <laughs> I keep I, I, I keep getting distracted and keep getting caught up doing some other stuff that I haven't really can I cite you to output to the left you should already be but I don't think you can insert from the left I think that's the problem it doesn't matter um, so I'm not using these enrichment chambers right now can I uninstall these upgrades then uninstall these upgrades which I don't have any in there so can I put you guys in there and then hopefully be a little bit more fuel efficient with that all right so uh, the issue that I was running into was that I was running out of redstone so now that we've got a bit more where's my dust so what I've been doing is just taking all of this dust and dumping it I hate that you have to hit exit I'm used to hitting E to leave those things but I guess not now so now instead of dropping onto the conveyor belt down here anything that goes through this is just going to immediately get thrown into the system uh, I need to make some more importers to do the same on all of these and then I'll probably just do exporters as well uh, to be able to just cycle through the whole thing you're still pulling out raw material uh, because for some reason I keep getting raw materials in here I just ate the euro okay, that's fine. it was really good For some reason, uh, raw materials keep ending up in here. I don't know how. They're coming from somewhere, and I think it's mainly just, it was because I was dropping it directly onto the conveyor belt, and then it wasn't jumping to that side quick enough. But it, it seems to be going well for now. So I'm going to start slowly but surely taking down any pillars that I can, or pedestals. Um, just because I am, I, I'm slowly trying to get away from these, if I can help it. Uh, eventually we're going to start looking back at laser IO. I know I've been saying that for a few episodes now, but I think, I think it's time to slowly start doing that. And then 
I don't know if I showed it, but yeah, I found the alternator. So that's why I needed, so I need brass, which should be done over here. Uh, a stack of it, that's, that's fine. That should be more than enough. So that's what I need. So brass casings just takes more stripped logs like the other casings. So let me just get a stack of that. And where is my builder's wand? I'm going to take my wand and I'm just going to quickly lay this out. And then we are going to Oh, I gotta I gotta do the stripped log thing. I was like, why can't I place the thing? Right, we're gonna strip all the logs and then we're going to brass casings with what we can I thought I could do it as a whole thing but I guess not um, so we'll do that we'll just cover this outer layer as much as we can and then just slowly cut down and then just repeat the process So there's a stack of brass casings, which then I can use. I just need a few crafting tables. I don't have any planks, so I have some patterns. So I can tell you that a plank comes from a singular log and then that four planks equals a crafting bench. Or a crafting table. And you can go in my crafter here, which looks like is dead again. because I've been doing so much over here, I'm gonna cut you off. All right, we're at a standstill again with power. Great. All right, so that, that's why we're working towards what we're working towards. So I do just have to wait for this to come back on. I need to look into solar power. What can I do with that? Solar panel from Ad Astra, solar panel from Mechanism. So that takes infused alloy, which is iron in the enrichment chamber with redstone. chamber of the metallurgic infuser metallurgic infuser so this plus redstone plus iron hopefully equals infused alloy it does hopefully it equals two probably not 
exactly two. Ha ha, okay. Cool. Um, so I, I need more of that. But you don't have power anymore. You're shut off, you're shut off. You're hurting. Which probably means this is empty. No? there was a way to uh, there's got to be something to be able to put battery power in there all right your energy is building up but i don't really want it to but i don't have my hammer so once again we've got to wait for all the power to gen and build back up all right so it's one two three of those so then I just need an iron ingot and the energy tablet. So I just need one iron ingot. And that should get me a solar panel. Which hopefully will be enough to get me somewhere. So I'm just going to put you here. But that needs to be able to output power. So it is generating power. I just need it to output instead of input power. All right, so I'm going to turn you off for a second because I don't need you hogging all the power. I need all the power going to this guy. Everything should be full now, so what are you hurting for? You're outputting at 100%. What are you still trying to fill up? I think you're still trying to fill up your one thing, so I need you to go to the farthest item first, which should be you. Maybe. And just try to still round robin you. Alright, so you're only putting out 80, and I guarantee you this is using a lot more than 80. Alright, so I'm gonna shut you off for now. We're gonna turn our lava gin back on. Way. you should be getting all the power and then once we have significant power build up we'll come back all right, so I looked at it a crescent hammer is cheap to make so I can just make a new one then we don't have to worry about trying to get into our system we can just hopefully do this and now you should be outputting power into the system potentially I am going to quickly do pipe upgrades So I need iron and redstone, so I'm just going to grab a stack of each if I can. Iron nuggets I need as well. Alright, so that's one, two, I need blocks of redstone, hopefully do I have enough, and I need some diamond. 
that gets me a full not to netherrack or netherite but I do have some netherite that I could potentially start using all right so you are generating power you are generating power you don't have any upgrades so I can take the upgrades out of you guy all right so you can only take a muffler upgrade which all that does is make you silent all right so farthest away should get first dibs at power I need to reconnect this to power connected perfect you should be good so let me come down here let me take put this guy make sure he's on round and you're on round 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 let me make sure all of these guys are connected you're all good you are sending out power this way and we should be good I'll put you back on ignored redstone mode and we'll see where we can go I might try to put an augment in you now that you're powered from a different source official name for it all right so and you are still at a net gain on power so that's good that's very good even with everything else running so that solar power probably should have been one of the first things I looked at but it's fine all right because you're, you're still sort of hurting. What can I do really quickly to maybe try to get the higher level? So I need four of these. So let me go ahead and just teach this to you. I do need some more alloy. So I do need some more iron, which I have. Go ahead and use my last little bit of redstone to make up as much of this as I can. Hopefully, I should get some more redstone soon now that this is all repowered. Yeah. This is still going strong. I might just put an automatic dust sifter. That that seems like a, a pretty it seems like it would be a good idea to just have all of these continuously making infinite amounts of resources for me. Because that's free. That energy is pretty much free. So we'll get these up and running. So add my solar down here. So if I wanted to make a solar panel, I think I do. I yeah, I need to teach you how to make this guy as well. So this is this. I should probably teach you how to make glass panes. You can go, you can go. So 
a solar panel. It's just missing the energy tablet, so I need to teach it how to make that guy. tablet that's fine I just need to then eventually work on which the, the beginning of this was supposed to be using interfaces and all that kind of stuff to get power where it needs to go and get resources where it needs to go so that might end up getting pushed to the next episode I really don't know where I'm at in this episode a lot of stuff is going to be getting cut out a lot of dead space so Hopefully this is a good wrapping up point. Some of these episodes are going to be longer and shorter. I'm trying to stick between like the 20 to 35, 40-ish minute mark. So we'll see where that goes. But thank you all so much for watching. I promise that we are going to get better at this game. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.